This is KVAL News at 5. A crowd is expected to form at Eugene City Council's meeting tonight. The topic of discussion, feeding homeless people at Washington Jefferson Park. A homeless outreach group Breakfast Brigade is asking the city of Eugene to restore its special use permit, which allowed them to serve meals at Washington Jefferson Park four days a week. Now, at the same time, community members have expressed they want daily group feeding activities at the park to stop. Tiffany Lewis has more. The Breakfast Brigade has provided hot meals to the hungry in Washington Jefferson Park for over 11 years. The group is now facing a roadblock after their September permit was denied by the city on September 6th. They are now appealing to the city for reinstatement. We want to operate legally with a permit. We want to be able to serve people with dignity. For those who are on the streets and want to get off the streets, nutrition is a key element to being able to make that appointment with your social worker. If you are hungry, you can't think straight. You can't help navigate any of the other resources that are available to you because you're hungry. According to the city's Parks and Open Space Department, the permit was denied due to multiple violations, including parking and vehicle use violations and the failure to submit a certificate of insurance. Breakfast Brigade says these issues boil down to miscommunication. All of the things, all of the reasons in the letter are minor technical things. Literally, we're talking about parking violations here. Um, nothing that can't be solved. As they face this permit violation by the city, surrounding community members have expressed concern around group feeding in the park, including Whitaker Community Council. On August 26th, the council wrote a letter asking the city to revoke any permits for daily group feeding activities in Washington Jefferson Park. The letter claims that the Breakfast Brigade's feeding activities have attracted elements including public indecency and trash, threats of violence, and open-air drug dealing, severely impacting the neighborhood's livability. The city sent us a statement clarifying that there is no connection between their denial of the permit and the WCC's letter, saying, Due to ongoing permit violations, the City of Eugene Parks and Open Space Division had begun their permit denial review process prior to the city receiving an email from the Whitaker Community Council. A neighbor living across the street from the park says he's disappointed in the park's declining conditions and the city's lack of resources for the homeless community. They will come on our property, they will steal our items, they will take things from us, they leave litter in front of our house here. I want them to be fed and I want them to just take it somewhere else actually. Breakfast Brigade says the reason for that location is the importance of being able to serve meals under a covered area to avoid extreme or wet weather. So the only park that we have here in uh, Eugene that has cover is Washington Jefferson Park because it is under the freeway. We're also one of the few sites that serves in the center of the city. While their permit is revoked, Breakfast Brigade has been serving about 100 people daily on the 5th Street sidewalk near Washington Street, not under the covered park area. That was Tiffany Lewis reporting. Now, Breakfast Brigade volunteers plan to testify at tonight's city council meeting at 7.30 p.m. Meanwhile, the Whitaker Community Council did send us a statement in response to the Bre Breakfast Brigade's concerns, saying in part, quote, it is deeply important to us that everyone has access to the resources they need. Our goal has always been to find solutions that allow the Breakfast Brigade to continue their invaluable work in a safe and compliant manner.